We're interested in looking at the mining heritage of the cliffs behind us. It's very often that people don't fully understand that the cliffs they look at, which they think are natural, are in fact all the consequence of mining. We're here for a one-off event called Heritage on the Beach. We've got a very wide range of people who come here. So we want to gather information from them. So our students from Exeter are conducting a survey, talking to people, but to give back, all of the museum volunteers are holding these pop-up talks, these walks, different activities, telling people about the beach, not only about the mining, but other aspects of local history. We've always been very committed to showing people that Perranporth is more than just a beach. There's a wonderful history to it in so many different ways, as the pop-up talks are showing today. We have a lot of data that we've collected on where people have gone from, how far they've travelled to be here, how they perceive the beach, whether they actually understand how the cliffscape has actually formed. It's great just to be able to help the university and play a role in the department because this is real research which hopefully is going to go on to bigger things and bigger funding applications in the future. It's brought together a group of people who are very interdisciplinary but also to get to work with the local museum is really important to us because it gives us an extra dimension in terms of engaging the public. See, we can really engage people here through something like this. Volunteering with the museum has been brilliant. We've uh, listened to some very interesting talks. If another Heritage on the Beach event comes up again, I'll definitely volunteer as I uh, was here for the first one. I'd like to carry on coming along to see how it progresses. The students have been wonderful and I've found it lovely working with them and I think they're a real credit to Exeter University. Our museum's 30 years old now so we've got a good background of volunteering and getting involved in different things and we've found it's worked very well. We're really proud to have been asked and to be involved with it. Today's event is just one event in a more complex project which we're calling Time and Tide which is a sort of an umbrella project under which we envisage several different types of activity ranging from academic research that we do in university based to very much community based. The relationship between the university and the museum has become very close and we're very much a very tight partnership so we benefit from each other's approaches. It's good to recognise that even after those industries have passed and gone away an area can continue to thrive and be as beautiful as this.